16th head coach of the New York Giants, Tom Coughlin. Been the head coach at two Super Bowl press conferences. I've been the head coach at two uh, AFC championship conferences with an expansion team. I'm more nervous about this press conference than I've been about anything I've done. You know, I said uh, yesterday that it was not a sad day for me or for us, for Judy, for my family. This is a little different situation today because Judy and I, together a long time ago, we don't say goodbye. We just say next time. And that's uh, really what I'm trying to convey here today as well. What has become extremely important to me as I've grown in this position is relationships. Relationships have become the primary objective in my career. I still have a hard time when former players, former players, guys who, you know, we've battled together, they've been corrected, you know, they've been, I've been mad at them, they've been mad at me, and so on and so forth. And after a year or two, sometimes not even that long, they walk up to me and say, I love you, coach. When that first happened to me, I didn't know how to respond. I was like, oh, wait a minute. You know, this is a, that big old tough guy business. We're not supposed to be able to be able to say that and do that. But I can tell you right now, it has become the source of drive for me is that when our players, when our players, whether they're in their career, after their career, when they come back to me and they say, Coach, I love you. And they follow that up by saying they become better men, better husbands, better fathers, better friends, because of their experience having been a New York Giant. John Madden calling on Sunday morning just to congratulate you and your team for a great effort last night. You know, not good, but, but great. I think it's one of the, the best things that has happened to the NFL in the last 10 years. And I don't know if they all know it, but, you know, they should be very grateful to you and your team. And we were getting too much of that. You know, well, they're going to rest their players. They don't need it. And that's not sports and that's not competition. And Anyway, I'm a little emotional about it, but I was I was so damn, you know, proud of, of what you guys did. It's something that, that we all ought to thank you for because, believe me, the NFL needed that. Congratulations. Why am I here? I'm here because I want to win. I'm not here. What, what do you think I'm doing? Sitting in my, up in the office with my feet up? I mean, that, it's, hey... The competitive spirit, you're in this to win. You're in this to try to beat, beat the other guy. You gotta get, you gotta win in your division. You gotta beat Philadelphia, you gotta beat Dallas now. So, I mean, we know exactly what, but the, you know, we, we win three games in a row and there's some bounce again in people's feet. I'm excited about getting in there and talking to our team in a little different version than I have to talk to them after losing seven games. So, uh, you know, we're here to, to win. That's what this thing is about, the competitiveness of winning.
Defense did a nice job. The whole four quarters offense came through in the second half. Special teams, great field position moves, good kickoff returns in the very beginning. Yep. Outstanding, outstanding. In the division, physical football game against a good defensive, good offensive team that has skill. Came through and won this game in the second half. Outstanding. Let's have a team. One, two, three, team! team. while the two Super Bowl trophies right out here are incredible accomplishments, and I'm very proud of them, don't get me wrong, I believe it is the unbreakable bond between coach and player that defines me as a coach and any humble success that we might have had here as New York Giant coaches. Uh, since the day I met him, you know, uh, initially, a younger player would immaturely think, you know, the coach is always on you. Um, he's always on you. He's always on you. Why, why is he always on you? Um, and initially, I thought it's, it's because, you know, he just he wanted to be. And it was growing up, maturing, and learning that, you know, it, it was because he knew what was in you. He wanted to bring the best out. Um, and, and he was going to do everything that he could to do that. Um, so along the journey, it's been great. Uh, with coach as far as growing and, and learning each other and, and him teaching me things, uh, just just how to be a man. I love coach. I love coach Coughlin and um, he's always going to be my coach. So um, the decision is not really on me. Uh, like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. He can handle it all. He's done it before. He'll handle it again. He's extremely bright. He's extremely competitive. He's what you're made, what you want. A son to be made out of because what? I mean, he thinks he's the reason. He's not the reason that I'm. Eli, it's not you. It's not you. It's us. We win, we lose together. Remember, when we lose, I lose. When we win, you guys win. That's that's the way it is. That's the game. I know what it is. I got the game. I, I got it. But what I would tell him, he's going to be right back in here in about two days starting to work on next year, just like he always does. And that's never going to change. And God bless him for it. There's the, the greatest example of all. Lobs it left. First is wide open. Touchdown Giants in the left corner of the end zone. Touchdown. The New York Giants have knocked off the New England Patriots 17-14 as Tom Coughlin gets a Gatorade bath. But when it's all said and done and Tom Coughlin is the head coach of the Super Bowl champion New York Giants, what rushes through you at that moment? You know, at that point in time, and I told the players this the night before. What I want 
in terms of winning the world championship is for you to experience the feeling once in your life where you are the world champions. You are the best in the world. You have paid the, paid the price. You have won the game on the field. You have beaten one of the greatest teams of all time. You are the world champion. Say this a thousand times. Finish, finish, finish. Taking their head coach's words to heart, the Giants would advance to play in Super Bowl 46 in a rematch with the New England Patriots. And once again, they would treat the fans to one of the greatest finishes in Super Bowl history. Into the end zone, a jump ball, and it's incomplete, and the ball game's over, and the Giants have won Super Bowl 46. Finish is what Tom Coughlin said, and the Giants have finished off the Patriots in the Super Bowl for the second time in four years. When you set a goal, and you accomplish the goal, and when you specify exactly what it's going to take, and it happens exactly that way, that is rewarding, it's satisfying, but it's also fulfilling. There's nothing like it. Is there anything that irritates you about the coverage you get from the press? 